Hi guys, I will only be eating McDonald's for an entire day. This challenge was not mentally prepared for. Initially, today's video idea was for me to go and film the fanciest McDonald's in the world, which happens to be in Hong Kong. My idea was to do some kind of McDonald's mukbang, mukbang, mukbang. Then Tyler objected to that idea and said, hey, why not just eat McDonald's for an entire day instead? As you can probably guess, my first reaction to that was But then, I realized to myself that my first reaction wasn't a wholehearted, factual No, I'm not doing that, which in my eating disorder, of course, I wouldn't even touch a McDonald's meal However, I let it sink in and I'm proud to say that I'm going to be doing a whole day of purely McDonald's food And I'm gonna keep kicking it at my eating disorder recovery I do not promote eating the same thing to an extreme, I do want to show that there's no room for compensation just because you had a fear food meal. In this video, I won't be compensating for a McDonald's meal. In fact, I'm going to be having a McDonald's meal every meal. So I want to show you that you can even have a fear food meal every single meal and snack for an entire day. And you know what? I think I'm going to be fine. There is such a huge stigma around McDonald's. And once you've labeled that food as McDonald's, it automatically becomes more scary for me. So I'm trying to break that stigma for myself and I'm excited about this I'm excited to get this going and document this process and I'm starting off with breakfast okay so I'm on my first commute to McDonald's whoa why is my nose so red I'm basically still in my pajamas so for breakfast I got a sausage McMuffin with egg and I didn't know that it came with a hash brown this is a little bit of a throw-off for me but you know what? It's come with it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go enjoy it. Hopefully. quite hard to articulate how I'm feeling. All that's really running in my mind right now is how I feel like oil is protruding out of my face. <sighs> I'm feeling full and lethargic and tired. Those are all symptoms, the classic symptoms of what you feel when you eat fast food. So maybe I'm just bigging it up in my mind. I'm emphasizing this feeling because really it was just a very nice burger that I really enjoyed. See, I can talk nicely about it. I don't need to focus on my fake oily face. And I'm really proud of myself so far. I pushed myself at lunch and I didn't even realize that I pushed myself. I was just so excited about all the different cheeses that they had to offer. I was too busy picking which cheese I wanted that I forgot that I'm terrified of having cheese on my burger. <laughs> I got this blueberry muffin from the Mook Cafe. I decided to take it easy and get a muffin for snack instead of a classic McDonald's McFlurry or something, but I definitely will be doing that tonight. I can still taste my lunch, which is not a good feeling. And I am very anxious about really pushing myself through the rest of this day, but bear, bear. Are you stopping me from talking about negative stuff? All right, fine, I'll stop talking negatively. This is gonna be fine. Tyler is ordering his dinner on Deliveroo right now. Tacos. He's getting tacos, which sounds like a dream. Guess what, we've made it to the Golden Arches. It's time to eat. The Golden Arches. Hi, can I get a chicken burger with fries? And can I get six chicken nuggets? Oh, and can I also get a McFlurry? Oreo McFlurry, take away. I got a chicken burger and chicken McNuggets. I keep saying McNuggets. 
I got chicken burger, I got chicken nuggets, fries, a Coke, and a McFlurry. That's my life tonight. I've got my McDonald's in my goodie bag. Dinner's ready. Bear is ready too. <laughs> yeah. I'm not ready anymore. I'm very impressed with um, this achievement. I think it's more of an achievement than I'm not taking part in it that you're doing it. And once you chow this down and get through your dessert, you're gonna feel even better after. Just wanna say something. For dinner, I was gonna just get chicken nuggets and chips. But then Tyler was like, no, you should have a chicken burger, chicken nuggets and chips. And I was like, wow. That is just not something that I'm gonna do. I've nearly finished this. I'm getting onto this. Vic yeah. suffers from the panic order. And yeah. I always use it against her. <laughs> where she's frazzled and she doesn't know what to order. And she's like, what should I get, what should I get, what should I get? And then I throw a spanner in the works. <laughs> and I'm like, order, and then they're like, what do you want? And then she's like, Ugh. Okay. <laughs> in my mind that it is the day after McDonald's and yep I am still in the world still here so today I've woken up feeling pretty dreadful no not dreadful but I have this feeling of dread I'm just a little bit anxious going into the day I'm nervous about the choices I'm going to be making and the conversations that I'm going to be having with myself because I have to make good choices yesterday doesn't mean anything it's a yeah. new day you start from scratch the days after some kind of a challenge is the most crucial time it's the days afterwards is when the anxiety hits is when the dread like she said hits it's when they think that they've changed all these other things that will come into play and this is when it's the most crucial time to let them know that everything's all right there's nothing different go into your next day going hey i want to i want to eat more natural goodness maybe but that doesn't mean your calories need to go down. Before I go, like I said in my last video, to celebrate 75,000 subscribers, Woo! which is so cool, I am doing a giveaway. The giveaway is a 30 minute Skype call with me where we can talk about your recovery or anything that you would like. So head over to my previous video to see how you can enter the giveaway. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. <laughs> Bye.